Hey science lovers, it's Becky with Lab Ride Academy and I am out here at Yosemite on the trail to Union Point and I saw some beautiful greenery here which is kind of strange because it's December and normally I would see snow out here but I don't and a lot of the stuff out here is actually quite dull but this is amazing this is called moss and it is part of an amazing ecosystem that is used to try to plant things on the hillside because a lot of the things around here like big trees are not expected to grow on rocks like this but these moss have an amazing way to do that you would not normally think a rock is a likely place for a plant to start growing but the first pioneer to start growing on a bare rock like this is something called lichen these little patches of lichen right here are a symbiotic relationship between Freddy fungus and Alice algae. That is what helps me remember what lichen is. And that starts growing on the rock and it secretes these acids that start breaking down the rock into tiny little particles. Those particles are the perfect environment for the moss to start growing on there. Now moss doesn't have any roots like a tree does. It has these little rhizoids that start growing into the little tiny sediments that were created by the lichen. Now if the conditions are right, the moss will start growing on the lichen. And so they need low light and they need lots of moisture just to start doing that. Now moss is in the kingdom of plants in the group called bryophyta, which means they don't really have leaves, they don't really have stems, and they don't don't really have roots. They do have rhizoids, which are kind of a root type structure. They have tiny little leaf light structures that grow around a stem like structure, but it really doesn't have what you would normally think as a plant. One of the interesting facts about moss is the way that it reproduces. These guys have sexual reproduction, which means that they have sperm that goes from one plant to the egg of another plant, and those create sporophytes. And those sporophytes make the spores that will make a new moss plant. But they also reproduce by asexual reproduction by just breaking off. Right here you can see the moss starting to die away and once the moss starts to die away it creates nutrients for other plants to start growing right on top of that. And then more bigger and bigger and bigger plants can grow on top of that. This barren rocky landscape would normally not be able to be planted with all these trees but with the help of moss and lichen through the process of primary succession we are able to start this process of breaking down the rocks and allowing plants to grow. Wow, science is so amazing. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. God bless. Bye-bye.